Well, hello, folks. Welcome back to Fisting Java Save the Universe. I am making now my third reshape video, and I am doing this in Star Citizen version 3.17.1. Um, I'm doing this because the rules have changed just a little bit, and I just wanted to update people and let them know um, basically how to do reshade today in the current patch that we're probably going to have until at least the end of June, uh, maybe even until October because 318 is most likely going to get delayed. So what I want to get on about is right here in game right now, I do not have reshade on. It's not on. This is the game without reshade. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot because this is going to be part of the thumbnail. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and turn reshade on right now. Boom. I hope you saw the difference. Things got darker. The darks got darker. The lights got lighter. Things got brighter. This is my default pre-shade. Um, or I guess I should say shader. But this is my default setting in reshade once again this is reshade on and here is reshade off you can see that there's gamma and some more brightness and about the same amount of contrast but with reshade off with reshade on it does make a difference and it makes a difference to me i play on a 32 inch monitor in 4k and this video is also in 4k so i hope you can also see the difference now that was looking at kind of a static area. So here we are at Orison. It is Invictus launch week and took forever to get in, but let's look at the difference outside right here. Reshade on, it's much darker out here and it is harder to see things. But I guess the question you need to ask yourself, is this realistic? The other question is, not really a question, but the other thing is I can do this with a push of a button. Boom, reshade off. Now I have more gamma. I can see more things. I have the ability to do this and it's much easier. Certainly, if you don't like reshade, that's cool. You don't have to use it. It's just an option for you. One thing you can do a game is you can go into the escape menu. You could click on options. You could go to graphics. You could change the gamma. Let me bring the gamma all the way down and show you what it looks like. Whoa, that's darker than reshade, right? So that's too dark. So let's take that. We'll cut it in half. We'll take gamma to 25. Okay, that looks a little bit more realistic, right? It does to me anyway. There's, there's a player standing there with his hospital gown on. So this is reshade off, but with gamma cut in half. So keep that picture in your mind. Let me turn gamma back up to its default value. You just have to see the comparisons. That's the default gamma inside. It doesn't look that bad, but when I turn reshade on, it looks better to me. Everything here is subjective. This is a subjective video. So I'm going to turn it back off and let's, let's go into the game options. Let's take gamma down to half and let's take brightness down to 30. And I, I feel that this represents, well, maybe, maybe brightness up a little bit more. Let's take brightness to 40. And I think this, as close as it could, represents reshade without actually using reshade. Uh, definitely the gamma is a big one. Now, you could go in here and you could sit here and tweak this all the time as much as you want. Um, or you could actually use the post-processing effects that reshade offers. Again, here's the default. Here's reshade on. Reshade makes the dark starter darker and the brights brighter. So with that being said, what we're going to do in this video is we are going to explore reshade, look at some of the stuff it does. Now, and we're also going to show you how to um, install reshade version 5.1 uh, contingencies if that all of a sudden doesn't start to work and how to get the presets that I use um, off of my discord. So let's roll the intro and let's get into it. Okay. 
Okay, thanks for watching the intro, guys. Um, here we go. We're, we're again, we're at Orison here. Reshade is currently on. I'm going to turn it off so you can see the difference. The gamma out here, because it's dark, it helps a lot. But when you're inside or you're in a brightly lit area, having the reshade on helps. Here's one thing you cannot do in the game right now. I'm going to use a preset and I'm going to hit a key. Look how dark that got. That was reshade. How that works. This is a preset I have for mining on planets like Lyria, where it gets so bright and so white, it's hard to see the mining laser. Well, I have this pre-shade that darkens everything up. That's with a click of a button. It's fast. I don't have to go into the menu. I, I don't have to mess around with stuff. One advantage of reshade. Here's another one. Maybe. There we go. MVG mode, guys. You're in that middle of that dark asteroid field trying to dogfight. There's no light around you to light up anything. Well, you turn on MVG mode, you're seeing all that stuff. It's not a cheat. Specifically, CIG allows MVG mode. They don't allow LiDAR mode anymore, but they do allow this type of MVG mode to basically allow you to see. And for me, because the MVG mode does not work in the game, there is no MVG mode in the game. This is an advantage for me. I don't PVP a lot, so I really don't care if you have a problem with it being an advantage for PVP, but if you could see your target, you could shoot them down. So MVG mode, you're only going to get this in reshade, and we're going to talk about how to do that. So those are the two modes, reshade on, reshade off. Okay. I think I've demonstrated enough that I've, I find reshade valuable, and I hope you do as well. Um, let's go into how reshade actually gets installed on the system. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about right now how to delete reshade. <laughs> I've had some questions and I get a lot of comments about, I don't like it. I want to get rid of it. I'm going to show you now how, how you can easily delete reshade from your game. The first thing you need to do is you go into wherever you have your RSI folder uh, in your star citizen folder, go into star citizen. You're going to go into wherever you want to take it from, whether it's PTU or whether it's uh, the live uh, build in here, reshade lives inside your bin 64 folder. So if you double click on bin 64, you can see that there are uh, reshade log reshade I and I. Um, your dxgi.dll file. Some people may still ha may still have D3D11. Um, also, under your reshade shaders, this is where all your shaders live. And then under your presets, this is where all the presets live. These are a separate download on my Discord. The easiest way to just get rid of reshade is just go into bin 64, hit delete. That's it. And then after you after you uh, do that, bring up your uh, your Star Citizen launcher. Go to settings, verify your files. We're gonna wait for it to basically download the manifest, which tells the launcher, the client, um, what files should be there and what files are missing. So now it just downloaded the manifest. It's gonna update its game files. That's it. See how quick that was? Now I have quick internet, but still. Let's go back. Oh, look, bin 64 is right back. When you go into it, you don't have any of the files. That's so that's it. You just uninstalled reshade from Star Citizen. Now we're actually going to talk about how we're going to install reshade into Star Citizen. So the, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into my Discord. Now, the Discord link is going to be in the description below. But under under here, under public, Sons of Valhalla public, there is a category or a channel here called Reshade. We're going to click on the Reshade. Now, this is probably going to change from the video because right now I have version 5.0.2 up there. I'm going to end up putting version 5.1 up there, which does work. But I also want to let you guys know 
you'll be able to download that from here. You'll also be able to download the presets from here. So I'm going to click on the presets. I'm going to continue the download. It's not dangerous. It will download in your browser, guys. So you're going to have to look to your browser for the preset download. I also, in my downloads, already have um, well, Reshade 5.0.1 up there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up to my downloads. And you can see I have Reshade set up 5.1.0 in there and my mining defaults is the fourth download I've had. I'm going to bring Discord back over to the other side um, to get the files for Reshade 5.1. You're going to go to Reshade.me, R-E-S-H-A-D-E.me or Google Reshade. Right here on the top, there's a dip button for download. Now, you can either go to the website and download it here, or you can go to my Discord and download it there, because a lot of the times the stuff on the website does update. After it's updated, uh, it may or may not work in Star Citizen. So you can download Reshape 5.1.0 here. You're going to have to keep the file. Boom, it's in there. We're going to go back to my download folder and... I have two versions of Reshade on here now. So we're going to get rid of Reshade, uh, the, the, the website. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the one I just downloaded and double click it. Now, this window comes up. You guys can see it's uh, it's got a whole list of games on it. And what's not on it is Star Citizen. <laughs> so if we go look at S, S's, there's no Star Citizen. We have to actually manually tell it to go find Star Citizen. So it has Star Wars, but not Star Citizen. So we're going to click on Browse. When you get to Browse, you're going to go and navigate to your Star Citizen folder. From here, you're going to go into either your Live or your PTU. And yes, you do have to do separate installs on both. Once you're in the Live, you need to go to Ben64. Do not do it on the launcher. It will not work on the launcher. Go to Ben64. And there's StarCitizen.exe. That is your actual executable for the game. Click on Open. Then click Next on Reshade Setup. It's going to ask you, DirectX 9, 10, 11, 12, OpenGL, or Vulkan. One day, I hope at the end of the year, we'll be able to click on Vulkan, and it'll work. But for right now, we are using DirectX 11 in Star Citizen. So it needs to be DirectX 10, 11, 12. You're going to click Next on setup. It says select the preset to install uh, to configure reshade, etc, etc. I'm going to just click next. Boom. What comes up here is standard effects and sweet FX. I keep those checked by default. I do not check anything else on there. So standard effects, sweet FX. Then I just click next. I actually didn't click anything up here. I'm just going to click next again. And then it's going to have all the sweet FX files that it's going to install. I just let it do it. So I'm going to click on next again. And that's it. Then I'm going to click on finish. Boom. So now when we go to our Star Citizen folder, bin 64, we're going to see over here, we're going to see dxgi.dll. The old way of doing reshade, you used to have to change the name of this file to d3d11.dll. Apparently, with this new build, you do not have to do that. It does work with dxgi.dll, so leave it alone. You don't need to do anything. Reshade INI is over here. Reshade Log is over here. And the Reshade Shaders, this is all the sweet FX stuff. Now, to put in the actual presets, we're going to have to go back over to our our downloads. Here's my presets zip. You just basically get to copy both of these folders, presets and reshake shaders. I right click it. I hit copy. I'm going to go back to star citizen. I'm just going to click over here into the white space, or you can just hit control V at some point. You don't want to put it in the reshake shaders folder. It has to be in the bin 64 folder. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on paste. I'm going to replace the files. And I'm done. Reshade is now installed on my live server. So now we're going to go back into the game. 
and we're going to show you how to set up reshade inside the game and how to get all your keys and screenshots and all that stuff configured correctly. So just stand by. Okay, guys, we finally logged in and boy, does this look horrible. <laughs> This is the game without reshape. Reshape is brand new here. So again, at the top, it says, hey, reshade, uh, press home to start the tutorial. So we're going to press the home key. And here is the reshade tutorial that came up. If you want to do this, go ahead and do this. I'm going to skip it. Once we skip it, we can see that there is uh, at the top, it says reshade preset. We can click that. And the fact that we have our presets already in the folder that we call presets. Now we have, uh, we can double click that. Sorry, I, I went too quick. Um, it's under presets under uh, the bin 64 folder. And I'm just going to hit default preset that I and I and hit select. You can always already see that the game uh, color changed. Now, if you want, you can hit home and hit the little arrow keys up here on, on reshade and you can switch to there's the mining. Here's MBG and here's the default preset. And it has all the levels and layers and all that kind of stuff in there of how the re the reshade works. And if you feel like making your own reshade, please make it. If I like it, I'm going to put it into my preset list and I'll put it up on the discord and other people can grab it. Um, I don't mess with the global preprocessor definitions and stuff down here. Um, so just to let you know, what I do do is um, over here on add-ons, I don't do anything on that. Settings, I do do stuff in settings. Um, what I like to do is over here, you have the overlay key. I change that from home to alt plus home. And all you got to do is click in there and just do your key. So I can change this to control home just by hitting control home. But I like alt home and I, I only use that for reshade. For the effect toggle key, I use scroll lock, but I use alt plus scroll lock. So I just click in there and, and press it and it's it's in there. Um, for the previous preset key, I use alt page up. And the next preset key, I use alt page down. And that's it. I don't mess with performance mode or effect reload. Um, the only other thing I do do is the print screen here. I keep print screen as my screenshot key. Um, that is also the default key in Star Citizen, and it should override Star Citizen. However, you see right now it's saving your screenshots on the under screenshot path to bin 64. That's not what we want. You want to put this where you want to put this. So if you want to put them in Star Citizen screenshots, by all means, do that. But to do that, you're going to click on the little folder there, and you're going to have to go find where you put all your stuff. So you can... Uh, double click the uh, the two periods of the folder and go back a little bit. You can put it in screenshots right here. Or I have my stuff saved in a completely different folder um, and I, I pull stuff off to change backgrounds and things like that. But right now it's going to the screenshots folder, which is just fine. I don't mess with anything else. Um, uh, what you can do is you can take off the screenshot message. Um, I do that from time to time. And uh, sometimes I keep it on, sometimes not. But that that's it, guys. I don't need to go to stats. I don't need to go to a log. I don't need to go to a I don't need to do any of that stuff. I Now to take this uh, menu off, I hit Alt Home. And now from here in the menu, I can hit Alt, page up, page down. I can change all my presets. And then if I want to hit scroll lock, I can take it off. All that's with a touch of a button versus going into options, going into graphics, changing all this stuff around. So that is reshade in a nutshell. If you are good with that, you're cool with that. Awesome. I'm glad I could help you out. If you have any questions, please, please hit me up in the comments section of the video, or uh, you could go into our discord, ask questions in there, send me a, a DM in discord. I will help you others. Uh, in our org and our discord use reshade all the time. So ask them questions. They know a lot about this stuff as well. I, I know it's kind of cheesy to have you come to my discord for the presets and not put them on Dropbox or Google drive or something, but I do that to, to 
expose my org, expose the Discord, because we run a lot of streams every Thursday. We run uh, streams on uh, Sunday mornings. We do racing events. We give away lots of prizes all the time. And the more participation we have, the better. Um, you don't have to become a member. It's it's up to you what you want to do. Um, but know that the Discord's there for players, and there's usually somebody in the comms somewhere playing the game. Find a friend. Play the game with them. Get to know each other. If you, if you want to, join the org or don't. It doesn't matter. We want to experience this game with you. It's such a beautiful game. I believe Riche makes it better, but that is my subjective opinion. Um, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on Riche. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have any advice for new players? Anything that you can think of? I have not found it to be a performance hog at all, especially in the newer versions. Um, it just adds to my depth and immersion and it gives me mvg and that's a really big one for me as a dogfighter uh for the miners using the lyria mining preset they have found it to work really well thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you next time on fisting java save the universe and if you want to visit our website at fistingjawa.org we'll see you next time good night stanley